Welcome back to HegoSpot channel with another video to solve the issue of deleted iMessages and how to recover deleted iMessages. We're going to explain 5 ways to recover deleted iMessages with or without using iPhone backup so you'll have great chance of getting iMessages back including text conversations, photos, attachments, documents and more that you've accidentally deleted, lost or disappeared. Okay, let's start with the first iMessages recovery solution, that is, recover the deleted iMessages from iPhone itself through the recently deleted folder in Messages app. This is helpful if you don't have backup to restore your iMessage from. But you guys should know that you can only perform the recovery from recently deleted folder in iOS 16 or later iOS version. So if your iPhone is not supported iOS 16 or has not been updated to iOS 16, skip this part and use other four ways to bring back the iMessages and attachments you've deleted from the iPhone. Alright, for iOS 16 recovering deleted iMessages, it's super easy as long as you know where to find the recently deleted folder in which those deleted iMessages threads are stored intact for up to 40 days. Okay, now, open Messages app on your iPhone. Tap Filters at the top left corner of your inbox to return to Message Folders list. Then tap to open Recently Deleted Folder. As you guys should see, the iMessages conversions erased from Messages inbox within the recent 30 days are displayed on the screen. Now to restore deleted iMessages to iPhone like the texts, photos, or other important content. Tap the dots one by one next to the thread you wish to recover. Then tap Recover at the bottom right of the screen, and choose Recover Messages in the pop-up that appears. All done, the iMessages are recovered immediately and returned to the normal Messages folder. So this is how easy to recover recently deleted iMessages on iPhone without backup and computer. If you have no recently deleted folder or you've completely cleared out the iMessages in the recently deleted folder, then come to method 2 of restoring iMessages by downloading from iCloud server. The thing is that you have to make sure you've turned on messages in iCloud to get your iMessages to sync with iCloud server before it's deleted or lost. So on your iPhone, tap Settings. Choose your Apple ID at the top and then choose iCloud. After that, browse to APPS using iCloud section, tap Show All and then tap on Messages. Here on the Messages screen, turn off Sync this iPhone option, and choose Disable and Download Messages from the pop-up notification. Wait for a few seconds and turn back to switch on the toggle for Sync this iPhone so that your iPhone syncs and downloads the most recent version of iMessages from iCloud server to the Stock Messages app. Go and check if your permanently deleted iMessages are retrieved. That it. It's all that simple and doesn't require a factory restore to erase all content and settings on your iPhone in the process of iMessages recovery. Method 3, Restore an iCloud Backup to get your iMessages back without connecting iPhone to a computer. Ensure that the iCloud Backup you previously made is containing those missing iMessages. This means that the backup occurred before the date when you deleted the iMessages from your device. The first step is to confirm the last successful backup was created prior to your deletion of the messages so you can take this method to restore your iMessages thread or conversation. Open Settings app, tap your Apple ID at the top. Then tap iCloud and choose iCloud Backup. You will see the date and time of the most recent backup on the screen. All right. We're ready to restore iPhone iMessages from iCloud Backup. In Settings app, tap General, scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Then tap Erase all content and settings at the bottom, tap Continue, enter your lock screen passcode to let your iPhone restore itself to factory settings. 
wait for the device restore to complete. Once you see the hello screen, once you see the hello screen, follow the on-screen instructions for a setup. When you're on the apps and data screen, choose restore from iCloud backup. Enter your Apple ID and passcode to sign into iCloud so you can access the backups. Proceed to select a backup that includes the iMessages that were accidentally deleted or disappeared for my phone, and the data restore process begins automatically. This will restore everything in the backup to your phone, not just the iMessages. Sit back and wait. When iPhone finished restoring, open Messages app and check to see if you successfully recovered the iMessages with the iCloud backup. The method number four is for you guys if you have no backup in place that you can use for finding and restoring the iMessages. The good news is that you don't have to rely on recovering from the backup, and you're able to dig into the iPhone memory and pull off the iMessages that you thought deleted for good. All you need is AppGeeker iOS data recovery software. You can Google it and download it on your computer. All right, guys, run iOS data recovery software. Click Recover from iOS device mode on the left pane. Then connect your iPhone to the computer with a USB cable. Make sure to unlock the phone and tap Trust when prompted to allow the software to access your phone system. Once it's recognized, click the Start Scan button. The software is now doing a free scan around your device and find all data that's inside the system including the deleted iMessages. You can see that the found data will be presented on the window while the scan is still in progress and categorized decently by types of data into different folders. Despite this, the software will not harm your phone and any current data so you do not need to worry about losing data. When the scan is done, find and locate the iMessages to recover. Click Messages from the left pane of the program, then all messages threads that are recoverable are displayed on the middle pane. You can click on the Show All at the top in order to filter the list by messages that were deleted so that you can easily find out your deleted iMessages. You're able to quickly recover an entire iMessage by checking the tiny box next to each thread in the middle pane. If you want to get back only a text rather than the entire conversation, simply click an iMessage thread on the middle pane then check the content you want within the conversation in the far right pane, and finally hit the Recover button. In case you need to recover a photo or an attachment from your deleted iMessages, the easiest way is to click Messages Attachments on the left pane and then highlight to retrieve whatever you want. All selected iMessages and attachments will be recovered to the computer in a CSV or HTML file instantly, and will open automatically. Method 5. Recover iMessages from an iPhone backup using iTunes or Finder backup. Similarly, you need to regularly backed up your device before your important iMessages got deleted. Connect your phone to computer and open iTunes. When you see the tiny phone icon appear at the top left corner of the interface, click on it, and then choose Summary from the list on the left. To restore the iTunes backup and get the iMessages back to iPhone, click Restore Backup button and then choose a backup containing the iMessages according to the date and time you've made, and finally hit the Restore button and wait for the restore to finish. Keep in mind that any data that was added to your iPhone since after the backup was made will be replaced with the backup content. If you don't want data loss happen while restoring the backup, you can try AppGeeker iOS Data Recovery Utility as well. It comes with Recover from iTunes Backup File mode that will scan your iTunes backup and selectively recover the iMessages you need back. So hopefully you guys have successfully performed a recovery and recover lost or deleted iMessages with or without backup. If you did, 
Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more helpful video like this. Feel free to leave your comments below. That's it. See you in the next video.